Hello everybody, welcome back to Theage's Notebook Review. I'm your host, Joel Michael. What I have for you today is a report on the Dell G3 that I not just recently reviewed, the notebook before I reviewed. Anyway, I replaced the 60Hz panel with a 120Hz display, uh, thanks to an idea that I got uh, watching a video on Bob of All Trades. Now, this is not a uh, slight on Bob of All Trades. He, was, he actually did a very good job in explaining how to do it, but there are some key details that he left out of it. So I wanted to go ahead and just let you know what you're going to be in for if you try to replace the panel on your Dell G3. So there are two ways that a new 120Hz panel absolutely sucks. What I did was I got the uh, N156HHE-GA1 panel uh, that, uh, you know, is the panel to get for your Dell G3 if you want 120Hz. But it sucks in two ways. Number one is that the brightness is not adjustable. And this is, yes, I know there's a Chi-Mai panel and there's an AUO panel. And I did get the AUO panel. It's a lot cheaper. It's 100 bucks. And the GMI panel is $180. But I did get the AUO panel, and the brightness is not adjustable, but you can overcome that with Windows 10's built-in calibration tool. You can adjust the gamma and then lower the individual colors to get the brightness down to where you want them to be. So that's not a deal breaker. But the second way that this sucks is the deal breaker, and that is the color bit depth is not what it should be. And this is not because the monitor doesn't have the colored bit depth. This is because the Dell G3 doesn't know how to properly communicate with your N156HHE panel. So this is what it looks like, and this is what I'm talking about. So this is a monitor test that you can do. This is an online web page. And as you can see, the color gradients are very, very sharp near the end of the spectrum. And this is super apparent in games uh, like Diablo 3 and also a lot of media that you consume. All of your video media that you consume, the gradients are painfully obvious. Now, this is an example of what it should, what it should look like. Uh, this is the Lenovo Y720 that I just reviewed and that nobody watched, but you can see that the color gradients are much finer. And this is, so this would not be a deal breaker, even though this panel still isn't all that high quality, but that's what I'm talking about. This is, that's where the color depth is lacking. And again, it's not the fault of the panel. It's the way that the Dell G3 cannot properly communicate with the 120 Hertz panel. Now the 120 Hertz thing works fine and that's great. That's cool. Even with the, with the GTX 1050 Ti, you can still push it in 120 Hertz. Most, some, some, sometimes, but uh, the color gradient thing, no, that's a no-go. That's that I've reviewed an Acer laptop that had that problem before, and I said that notebook sucks, don't buy it. So I'm gonna stick to my guns here and say this is not a good idea. I don't know if the Chi Mai panel uh, gives you the same problem. It does have see it does seem to communicate better with the Dell G3. So if anyone that has the Chi Mai panel uh, and has replaced uh, their you know Dell G3 display with that. Uh, if you guys want to, you know, comment on it and, and do the test and see if the color gradients are any better, please do so and reply down in the comments below. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to spend $180. I'm not going to spend $180. I'm not going to spend $180 on a 120 hertz panel for my Dell G3. Hopefully I'll be able to return this one. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, this has been a view. Of, this has been a report on replacing my Dell G3 panel with a 120 hertz panel here on Theja's Notebook Review. If you guys want to support my efforts here on YouTube, you can go ahead and buy the music that I have available on iTunes, Spotify, and Google Play. I'll uh, put the links to those in the description below. There's a couple of them available right now. Thanks for watching, and you guys, have a good night.